If you are planning to buy electric scooter or electric bike in India, buy immediately because electric two-wheeler prices may rise up to 40,000 rupees. And it is an official news now, if, especially if you are planning to buy branded electric vehicles like Aether Energy, TVS, Bajaj, Ola, or Hero Motor Corp, even bike models, Revolt RB400, Torque, Kratos or electric bikes, these electric vehicle prices going to hike. So definitely this is the right time to buy these branded electric vehicles. But why electric vehicle prices hike in India? Let's explore in this video. Namaste, I'm Krishnayatana Mandela, your EV bro. Firstly, please share this video to as many friends as possible, especially people who are planning to buy an electric two-wheeler in India. This information is really useful for them. On Wednesday, central government clearly taken a decision that they going to decrease the subsidy price on battery pack earlier they are offering 15000 rupees per kilowatt hour now they are going to reduce to 10000 rupees per kilowatt hour and this news been confirmed by business standard website so from that source we are confirming this news now because of the latest decision from the central government there are chances that electric two wheeler companies prices will increase heavily but what are the electric two wheeler models let's explore Kabira KM3000 electric bike and Kabira KM4000 electric bike, the expected price hike is up to 15,000 rupees. Revolt RV400 electric bike, the expected price hike is up to 5,000 rupees. Torque Kratos R electric bike, the expected price hike is up to 25,000 rupees. And these are the maximum price hikes we are expecting and there are possibilities the price hike can be lesser or even higher as well. Hero Motocop, Hero Vida V1 Plus electric scooter, price hike is expected as 22,000 rupees. Hero Vida V1 Pro, the price hike is expected as 27,000 rupees. And Bounce Infinity E1 electric scooter, the price is expected to hike by 12,000 rupees. Bajaj Chetak, the electric scooter price is expected to hike by 19,000 rupees. Again, Benling India's electric scooters, Benling Aura electric scooter, the price is expected to hike by 25,000 rupees. Benling Believe electric scooter, the price is expected to hike by 26,000 rupees. And one more company, Kinetic Green, Kinetic Zing HSS electric scooter with the range of 125 kilometers this electric scooter price is expected to hike by 25000 rupees another electric two wheeler company ampere vehicles ampere magnus ex the price is expected to hike by 16000 rupees whereas ampere zeal ex the price is expected to hike by 15500 rupees and wakaya scooters wakaya fast f4 this electric scooter price is expected to hike by up to 40000 rupees because of this uh, Huge battery pack used in this Wakaya fast F4 electric scooter. Earlier central government offered up to 66,000 rupees of subsidy. It is going to slash by up to 40,000 rupees. That, that's what we are expecting the price to increase by up to 40,000 rupees. And because electric scooters, because D15 Pro electric scooter, the expected price hike is up to 26,000 rupees. Whereas because C12 IMAX, the price is expected to price hike by up to 24,000 rupees. Ola S1 Pro electric scooter, the price is expected to hike by 35,000 rupees. TVS iCube, the electric scooter price is expected to hike by 26,000 rupees. Finally, Aether 450X electric scooter expected price hike is up to 30,000 rupees. Why the price hikes? Because of the subsidy drop from 15,000 rupees per kilowatt hour to 10,000 rupees per kilowatt hour. Even there is a extra room cap as well earlier central government offering either the battery pack capacity or the 40 percentage of the overall extra room cost now they have reduced only 15 percent of the overall extra room cost or the battery pack capacity so considering these factors more possibility of the electric scooter prices hike in the upcoming days especially from the next month so people who are planning to buy electric two wheelers from these models this is the right time to buy because the next month these electric two wheeler price going to hike and also one point to be noted here there are chances that companies may not increase the electric two wheeler prices also to not reduce their sales figure there is one more possibility they may bear their prices from their end also this is also one possibility but on the other side good thing for non-registered electric vehicles and non-subsidiary vehicles like tunwal versatile Oreva, Komaki, there are so many non-subsidiary vehicles and uh, non-registration electric vehicles. Those electric vehicle sales can be increased in the upcoming months because we cannot expect much price hike on these electric vehicles because these vehicles not getting any kind of subsidy. So good news for non-subsidiary vehicles and non-registration electric vehicle companies, their sales can increase whereas the subsidiary model prices, most possibility the sales can drop. But at the end of the day, it's a kind of 
bad news for electric two wheeler users and most possibility the sales may drop in the upcoming months and what's your opinion on this please mention in the comment section below if you are an ev owner willing to share your ownership review with us please whatsapp your details to the number shown on the screen or else fill the form link in the description below if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro for ev reviews please subscribe to ev bro reviews for automobile content please subscribe to mvs auto charge the nature drive the future